Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the channel that cleans things for your viewing pleasure. Today, we're out in Car Detailing Simulator. Now, this is one I uh, checked out the demo for probably half a year ago now, and I was kind of blown away by it. It's actually really, really good if what you want is a car detailing game. And now it's out, so I thought we'd get back into it and, uh, well... Start off by cleaning this ugly thing. So yeah, I'm hoping there's a lot more to the game now. There was actually quite a bit. Whoa. Uh, okay, so the, uh, the way this game works is you get kits for everything. And as you can see, there's actually quite a few kits. It wants the bodywork kit right now, so we're going to buy that. Uh, yeah, I guess that's a good place for it. All right, so now that I got the bodywork kit, well, this is obviously my first job, so it's going to be pretty basic. The bodywork kit includes three things and i guess your hands as well so we want to start off by foaming up this bad boy and uh, i have to say the foam physics in this are very pleasing can i get better lighting in here this is gonna bother me this is very dark but i guess we have to start somewhere and we're literally in a shack right now the best thing about this game is uh there's no jump in this game there's just stand on your tippy toes button so i can get the roof i've never had a game where you can stand on your tippy toes all right, I have to say that's quite foamed up, so we are going to uh, wash off that foam now, and I think we just got to uh, dry it, and then this should be a pretty easy job. I think that's all we need to do. I don't think we need to do anything in the interior. All right, I have to say the car's looking quite good now, so we just got to uh, get off any of the water so we don't get any wet spots. All right, I have to say this car came in quite ugly, but it's looking quite good now. Uh, <laughs> I love that you got to rinse the sponge in this game. Okay, the car is clean and very much shiny. So now we go over here and, uh, oh, of course we have to take a picture. Okay, I have to say it's actually kind of impressive. We have like field of view, camera tilt, um, lighting. Oh my God. Yeah, let's get some shine in there. And that looks good enough to me. It takes a steam screenshot. I'm gonna have so many screenshots in this game. You get to hang it up in the memories gallery. Yeah, I don't think any car detailing uh, shop in real life is taking a picture of every car they do. Uh, all right, well, there we go. And look at that. How did we do? I did take my time, but I, damn, five stars. I will take it. There's an actual leaderboard system. I'm in the top 50. I have a sneaky suspicion these are not actual people. Oh, I forgot about this. This is one of the coolest things of this game. Uh, you can actually compare what it looked like from the start to what it looks like from the end. And uh, I am all about satisfying games. This is extremely satisfying for me. All right, we got Scratchy McGee over here. The car doesn't shine like the good old days. Polish the bodywork and take care of the gloss and long lasting effect. Okay, I guess we get to buy our polishing kit now. All right, so I did the quick clean again. You've already seen that, so uh, I'm more interested in the polishing now. So let's grab the polishing kit, see what this entails. So we have the flashlight. I know this can show me where the screechy scratches are, which seems to be all over the thing. Great. Oh, the back's really bad. So I'm assuming I'm going to need to, like, apply polish everywhere. So let's just go for it. Oh, yeah, that's a pleasing noise. How do I reapply paste? I am rapidly running out of paste. I don't know why you need the light, because I can just use this to see. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember from the demo, I do not see those unless I put the light on first, and then I can see it with my radar. Okay, repaste. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dude, the small details in this game are great. All right, so I did a quick job with the light. I might need to redo it, because it's looking like I'm running out of uh, scratches. So, yeah, we're going to throw on the light again. And I didn't really do the roof, for example. Actually, the roof is looking nice. Well, there's a little bit on the bumpers and whatnot. I think the lower area I kind of uh, skimmed over really quickly. So now when I right click, yeah, I'm going to see them all the time. Dude, that's so cool. I love that it forces you to use this light so you know where the scratches are. All right, I guess it's done, but it's not technically done. Let me finish. Oh, you're just going to finish it for me? Okay, well, it gives you some room for error, which is probably nice. Those scratches are sometimes hard to find. All right, well, how do we do? We're going to... I want to take the picture again because I want to see the comparison. And return car... Better be five stars again. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Only took me five minutes. Not too bad. I mean, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's changed much only because it was so dirty, first of all, and it's black. So it's very hard to see the scratches to begin with. Uh, but yeah, not bad for our second job. Hopefully we can continue to unlock new interesting things. All right, next job, we need to uh, clean some windows. It's kind of odd that we first of all dealt with scratches and now we're dealing with windows. You know, window cleaning is a pretty basic job, but I'll do it. And I'm assuming we have to clean it as well. 
Actually, no. This is looking clean. So I'm assuming I'm going to need both the wheels kit and the window kit. I don't know if I have enough room for all those. I don't have a very big bench right now. Um, let's actually go to the store. Garage upgrade. So we can get more lighting. Air compressor. Or sorry, that, that would be a paint shop? Sure looks like an air compressor to me. Uh, photo board. Upgrade rack. There we go. So it looks like I can just buy a new one. There we go. So we'll buy that for the time being. And... We're gonna have a lot of kits, man. All right, so we'll throw that one down there. So I don't know if I needed the wheels kit or not, but uh, let's start off with that. We need to wash the wheels. Uh, tutorial, I think I know how to do it. Hopefully I don't regret that decision. <laughs> All right, what am I doing here? I probably should have did the tutorial. Okay, get the gunk out, got it. Now we swipe the outside. <laughs> I love this. Um, what else? I guess we just brush it with the uh, soft brush now. And bam, look at that. They're actually chrome after all. All right. And there we go. That's one out of the four wheels. All right. There we go. Wheels are spick and span. I didn't even notice we got to repair the seats as well. So that means I got to buy another kit. Where's the repair car interior kit? Would that be it? Stain removal? I'm confused. Well, we're gonna need them both, so let's just buy everything that we can. I'm gonna have to get an upgrade for my damn storage area as well. Okay, so we'll do the windows. I've done this before. Pretty easy, obviously. I wonder if I gotta clean the car now, because I got a little bit of wetness on it. But yeah, you spray, and then you wipe. Surprise, surprise. Windows aren't that in-depth. All right, there we go. Windows, very easy. Um, Still says I have to clean the window. Perfect. Now repair seats. Oh, you know what? I have to get that off. Come on. There we go. Now it's truly clean. Uh, all right. Let's go get the kit. I'm assuming it's the interior care kit. Not really sure, though. Uh, open. Actually, those are stains, I think. So it's probably a good thing I bought the kit. Let's just see what this is about. Garbage can, vacuum cleaner, uh, foam. Well, let's try it. Screw it. Right, what do I do now? Vacuum it? I think I remember this. Yeah, this is... This is not working. There's clearly still a stain there. So I guess they're just getting a free job. All right. So yeah, this is definitely it. We have to sand the area. I think I remember doing this in the demo. There we go. All right. All three stains are done. Now, what is this? A spray gun. So are we literally like spray painting the seat? Seems kind of like a shady job if you ask me. All right. But that's definitely how to do it. So find the stains. Scrape them off and spray paint the seat. And just like that, brand new. Just in, ignore the smell of paint. All right, there we go. I'm not going to take a picture of that one because we really didn't do much from the outside. And how do we do? Look at that. Going up the rankings, baby. Now it seems like we're out of like tutorial area and we have a bunch of different jobs we can choose from. Well, two to be more specific. The tinted windows started to grow grass. How the hell does... You, I have to see this. How the hell does that happen? All right, I think he's lying to me. I mean, they're a little green. They're, I don't see any grass, though. Mind you, this thing has seen better days. So we got to clean, wash windows, polish bodywork, repair seats. Pretty much everything. Great. All right, I did everything besides the polishing. My question is, what the hell are people doing in this town? Like, look at the amount of scratches. It's going to look like a damn good car once we get this done, though. So uh, polishing kit. There we go. I don't even know if I'm going to need the light for this one. It's pretty easy to see <laughs> where all the scratches are. Oh, yeah. This is just super satisfying. This back was so bad. And just a little bit of polish. That's all you need to get, like, these awful scratches out, I guess. And there we go. Didn't even need to use the light. This one's so bright it was easy to see. Definitely want to see a before and after with this one. Well... I guess the game doesn't want me to see a before and after because all I see is a black screen. Come on, you can't do this to me. Oh, uh, hopefully I can see it when I restart the game. Yay, it worked this time. And honestly, wasn't worth the effort. Don't get me wrong, it's pleasing, but uh, it already looks kind of dirty with its brown color. So definitely not as cool as I thought it would be. All right, we're moving up in the world. We got a Viper to do now. I chose this one because it gives me the most experience. I definitely want to get some experience because we're kind of locked right now. We get these new kits when we get a little more experience. It doesn't say how much, but there's also like auctions and we can buy cars. I, there's also a map. Like, I don't know how we unlock that. So there's obviously a lot more to this game. We just got to do a bit of grinding now, unfortunately. 
All right, that shop was definitely the hardest one yet, but I can't deny that is a damn good looking car. I hope this next level unlocks something because that was uh, a long job indeed. Let's see how we did. We're, wow, we got a lot of rankings then and I got a new level. I don't know if that means anything. I got a new phone message. Whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wasn't used to that. Hello? Big news. He's retiring. Does that mean I get a new garage? <laughs> I called it. I have to buy it though. All right. And my assumption was correct. We did unlock the map. So that's exciting. Let's actually see what else is on the map here. So we have the old garage. We have the exhibition room, the car showroom. And I'm assuming, yes, this is the larger garage. Obviously, that's a good goal to get. I don't mind living here, but uh, it definitely would be better to have multiple bays as well as better lighting. Whoa, uh, that is a lot of... Look at this XP difference. What is going on with this car? I was hit by a sandstorm on the road. The whole car is scratched. Help. Gladly, that's going to give me a whole new level. That is insane, the difference. I got to assume it's not going to be too hard. Wait, 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 wait. There, there's four cars. I saw four cars. Wait, why is there four cars? Oh, no. I royally screwed up. All right, well, this isn't bad. It's just essentially a job that has mul- I didn't even notice that. God damn it. So this is a long-term job, but it should give us a bunch of levels. All right. Well, I guess we'll get on these cars. Thankfully, it doesn't look like they need everything, but it seems like every car is going to be quite a difficult job. So yeah, this should be fun. All right. There we go. First car's done of four. Oh my God. All right. So I guess I get points on every car. Kind of weird, but I guess if you do want a longer job, this is kind of cool. Uh, let's do the Magnum. How do I choose this? I'm just going to hit continue and see what happens. Okay, I guess we're not doing the Magnum. Thank God this car, uh, there's no interior body work or I guess uh, upholstery work. Because that is by far the worst experience in this game. It is such a big grind. This is going to look so good when it's done. Oh my God, the chain wheel. <laughs> okay, that's a little cringy. Uh, wait, there's only... There's only one side mirror on this car? That's so weird. All right, there we go. Second car's done. Getting closer to level five. And there we go, the third car. All right, one more. I can do this. Save the best for last two, the Tempest Magnum. Oh, no. Um, Repair seats. Uh, clean interior, so this is a whole job. Great. Well, at least it's the car I wanted, I guess. I'm regretting this car now. I was looking forward to it. It's in retrospect, it's it's definitely the hardest one yet. I mean, look at how many spokes there is. And yes, depending on how many holes the rim has, uh, depends on how much you have to do this. So, you know, the more complex the rim, the longer this takes. It's also a muscle car, so it's absolutely massive. It's taken like double the time of the other vehicles. And I just want this job over with to see what level five gives me. Well, that's going to bother me. Why is there like a weird stain here that I can't get rid of? Uh, wait, I wonder if I repaste it. That wouldn't be a scratch, though. No, it's going to be like that forever. You know what? I don't care anymore. I just want to get this job over with. Oh, my God. Just <laughs> come on. Why is it always the last thing I do that's always the hardest? All right, let's go for this view. And actually, that will be nice with the light. Okay, a little bit. Not much. There it is. Oh, that one didn't give me much room for error. Now all we need to do is clean the side mirrors. Wait, was there only one mirror on this car too? Why, why can't I go to the next mirror? All right, well, we'll just go on the other side here. And there we go. Another job well done. That was rough. That was really rough. Ah, oh, but there we go. How long did that take me? 44 minutes. It felt like 44 hours, that's for sure. Don't get me wrong. This game is fun, but it gets very repetitive without new upgrades to enjoy. Hopefully now we are level six. That didn't unlock anything? Oh, it did unlock the pro kits. Okay, well, that's exciting. I don't know what the difference is. The question is, do I want to buy pro kits or do I want to buy the new garage? Because I think I have enough for it now. So yeah, I'm assuming the pro kits are just... Well, there is a headlights kit. I didn't see that until now. But the pro kits look probably just to be a faster version of the basic kits, which... Obviously is very tempting, but I'm curious to see if the new garage unlocks anything else. So yes, uh, I got just over 3,000. Let's purchase it. And look at that. We're already moving up into the world. Oh. Oh no, come on. Are you serious? Is it flooded? 
What is this? This is over the top. Come on, game. <laughs> what? Wait. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> this was not worth all this effort. Seriously? Like, this is a sick garage, but what the hell, man? What the hell? All right, let's just see what we have to do. Okay, so I have to actually clean my garage, it looks like. Like, wait, what? where are my tools? I don't know where anything is. Oh, thanks for the car washer. So I just pressure wash the whole freaking... <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, you know what? This this uh, episode is getting quite long. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. I'm hoping this garage unlocks a whole plethora of new things. No idea if it does or not, though. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, let me know and we'll definitely do some more of it. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Car Detailing Simulator. And yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.